Welcome to my channel. And today, I am going to show you how to add personal domain name to Google Sites. At the end of this video, I will share with you one cool trick which will make your Google Site look very cool. So, let's get started. Before going to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, and press the bell icon, to get the new updates. Normally, in Google Sites, your site name will be, sites.google.com slash your web address, this is the default web address, provided to your website, by Google. In order to, make your website look like, professional website, or blog, you must add, your own custom domain name, to your Google Sites, for that you must follow the, following simple steps, in which, I will be explaining, a very simple strategy, on, how to, add custom domain name to your Google Sites. You have to buy the domain name. There are many hosts available, but I have bought my domain name using GoDaddy. Before seeing how to add custom domain name to Google Sites, we must verify the domain ownership of our domain with the Google. So first, we will see how to verify domain ownership with Google. First go to www.google.com slash webmasters slash tool slash home and log in here by using Gmail ID. After login, type the domain name which you want to verify with Google in the below displayed box and click add property and a new page appears stating the methods to verify domain here I strongly suggest you guys to use the recommended method and then check your host name in my case it's GoDaddy then click the verify button then a new window will pop up asking you your GoDaddy username and password please fill in the details and click login and then click accept to verify your domain ownership with Google that's all the domain verification process is initiated and it will take some seconds so I request you to be patient. That's all. Your domain verification is successfully completed. And click continue. And now, we will see, how to add, custom domain name to Google Sites. First, log in, to your GoDaddy account, and click on your account icon, on top right corner, and click manage my domains. Then, the domains which you have purchased will appear. Click on a domain, which you want to add to Google Sites. Then, click DNS Zone File. Under the DNS Zone File, there is a tab called, See Name Alias. Under that, there is an option called www. Click the pencil icon to edit. Or, you can click here to edit, which is new and easier way to edit the records. So, click here. Then, here, the list of records will appear. Under that, Go to type C name, of www. And click, pencil icon, to edit. And type, ghs.google.com, in the points to box. and click, save button. 
After saving, check whether it is successfully edited or not. After that, go to your Google site and click More Actions button and click the Manage Site button. And select the Web Address tab. And there is box called Add a web address. Type the personal domain name, which you now configured in GoDaddy, in that box. And click Enter, or press Add button. That's all, your web address has been successfully verified and added to Google Sites. We are at the end of this video, so, like I promised, the cool trick, which I'm gonna share with you is, how to insert image slider for your Google Sites. Vault, Google Sites offer a facility, to insert a image slider. By using slider gadget in insert menu, but its disadvantage is, the image, does not stretch, to its full length. So to obtain full length image slider, we are going to use, some simple HTML codes. These are the HTML codes, which I have already typed. Basically, HTML consists of two sections, head section, and the other one is, body section. In head section, the style tags are present, which serves as the main part of image slideshow. The style section consists of two part. First one is slideshow initial, and the second one is, slideshow image and I am giving the position, as relative, and margin, as zero auto. These two are used, to keep the image slideshow, in center position. And next, I am giving the width, and height, of the image as, 1400, you can give whatever you want. Please note that, width and height of the image, should be same, as that of code. This is very important point to be noted. Then give the position and margin for the slideshow image part. After head section comes the body section. In this there are two divisions. First one is initial and the other one is slideshow. And I have given the image source path for these two sections. And before giving the path, we should first upload the image to your site. Click upload button but I have already uploaded the image. After that, you should insert a Google script, by providing its path. This script, serves as a main tool, to run the image slideshow. Automatically. Then, we should insert another script, this serves as a timer, for image slideshow. The fade out option, and fade in option are used as timing effects for the image slideshow. There are several functions used, such as next, which is used to go to the next image, and function end, which is used as end image property, and hide and show functions are used to hide and show the image respectively. That's all about the code. Before inserting code into Google site, you should make some changes. As I have given the width, of the image, as 1000, in code, I am giving, the site width as, 1030, to make the slideshow, look more fit to website. Then click save button. After that, click insert button, and select HTML box, then, paste your codes, into the HTML box, and click save. Then click align center to make the slideshow appear in center position. Then click save button. That's all, the full length image slider, has been successfully inserted in Google Sites. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video click thumbs up, if you have any queries, please comment below, thanks for watching, subscribe us for more videos, have a nice day.